First tonight, we begin with tragic news out of Providence. A teenager is dead after he was shot in the head just before 11 o'clock last night. It is the seventh murder in Providence this year, and tonight police are still searching for that gunman. It is our top local story at 6. Eyewitness News reporter Marilyn Shearer joins us live now with details from the mobile newsroom. Marilyn. Several people witnessed the shooting, including a few inside the store who had to duck for cover. A small candlelight vigil is set up outside the Providence convenience store where 19-year-old Manuel Hilario was shot in the head Friday night while sitting in his car. I heard three gunshots um, and I ran outside to go check on my sister-in-law who's at the store buying something. The witness, who didn't want to be identified, says she heard people yelling. She saw three people running from the white Toyota and a passenger in Hilario's car who took off may have been shot in the leg. I saw the victim sitting in the car um, and it appeared that he was shot in the back of the head and they were trying to move him to keep him, you know, to keep him conscious. The victim was pronounced dead at Rhode Island Hospital. The shooting happened at 10.52 p.m. outside Sam's Market, which is just up the road from Providence College and the Chad Brown Housing Project. It's a very uh, nice neighborhood, loving people. But of course, I'm sure the neighborhood is concerned, and I'm concerned as well because it's a neighborhood store. We're all friends. We grew up we, um, from the projects in projects. We all live out there. Tevit Fields also heard the gunshots. She knew the victim, who was known as Manny. I know him, so it's hard. I don't know how his mo- I know how his mom's going to react with him. And, of course, tomorrow being Mother's Day is a sad day for that victim's family. Now, Providence police are investigating, and they're asking anyone with information to contact police detectives at 243-6406. Reporting with the Mobile Newsroom, Marilyn Shera, Eyewitness News.